everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage, and today we're going to discuss our Elite Hot Coat PCS 1000 powder coating system. I'm here with Mark, who developed this system, and he's going to explain what makes it a professional unit. Now, if you're not familiar with Eastwood and powder coating, we've been involved in powder coating for well over 20 years, correct, Mark? Yeah, we started back in 96. We developed the DIY powder coating industry. We have two of them that are out there now. Yeah, our original DIY and our dual voltage, both very popular, but I can tell this one looks a lot different. Yeah. A lot bigger and a lot more controls. Yeah, this is our new uh, Eastwood Elite. This is our pro system. No longer is the cup on the gun itself. You have two different hoppers. We have the five pound hopper that you see here, the fluidizing, and then we also have a two pound hopper for small jobs. The control unit, we kept simple. No digital displays that'll fail on you. Analog gauges. You have basically your fluidizing, your powder air, and then your KV adjustable on the unit. Keeps it simple, keeps the cost down, and it keeps it very reliable. Well, that's great. Now you mentioned all these controls. Can you explain to me what they do yeah. and you know why they're important on a, on a professional unit? Yeah, the unit itself, this is basically the heart of it, the gun itself. We have the high volt power supply up in here. So you're gonna be using this to do your part. You'll have a feed hose going from here, either to this hopper or to the small two pound hopper. Very easy to use. You put about 50 PSI of air to the back of the unit and 120 volts for electricity into it. Turn it on, go ahead and adjust your fluidizing air which fluidizes the powder in the hopper, keeps it up in suspension, makes it easy to deliver to the gun. And then you simply adjust your gun air here, which will just, that'll determine the volume and the speed of powder coming out of the gun. So if you have a small valve cover, dial everything down so you're not wasting a lot of powder. But if you get something like a Harley frame or some large outdoor furniture, mm -hmm. crank the thing up, hit it real quick. So what are the advantages of a professional unit like this with all these controls, the separate hopper, you know, and a gun like that, as opposed to you yeah, know, our other DIY uh, units. The biggest and uh, the most important is the KV. That's the kilovolt. Any of these pro units will go up to about 100,000 volts or 100 KV. What that does is that's your charge. Out here on the emitter is where you're going to have that high voltage charge. It's going to ionize the air about the size of uh, maybe a baseball around here. So every piece of powder that comes out, every particle, goes through that ionized air, picks up a high volt negative charge, and then wants to go to your grounded object. So when you're cranking it way up, that helps for, like I said before, say you have a big chase lounge, metal outdoor furniture. You can put that powder on quick. You can get a lot of it coming out, picks up its high volt charge, covers the piece very quickly. Whereas the little guns where you're down around the 15 kV, it's for smaller pieces. So you get that big part, it would just take a while where this does it you know, a lot quicker. Recently, you guys have been powder coating wheels because wheels have a lot of very intricate shapes. Is that like another advantage of a gun like this? Yeah, that is. Uh, also, this has a fogging nozzle with it. What that'll do is that'll get the air or the powder into a large, low volume, but high density amount of powder to hit those Faraday or the back ionization areas there. Now you mentioned the Faraday cage areas, the Faraday cage effect. Could you explain that yeah. briefly? What that is, that's the general, Faraday is the actual gentleman who, uh, if you want to say discovered the anomaly with um, high voltage or any type of um, electrostatic charging, painting, or powder. When you have an inside area, an inside corner, um, what will happen is as you're directing that high volt charge to it, you'll build up a negative or an equal charge in there so the powder no longer has anything to attract to. So that's areas where you want to you hit them quick and hit them first, get those areas covered, then come back and do the rest of your object. So with a gun like that, you probably won't have much of that issue, which is great for those yeah. types of areas. And it, it'll overcome those issues a lot easier than what the other guns will. What if you want to do like high metallics? What if you want to do a, like multiple coats? Do you have the ability? I know the lower end guns, a lot of times you, you know, you're stuck with one coat. Yeah. It's wheels, a lot of people want to do primers and then coats and maybe they want to do effects. You know, is, is that an advantage of professional over a DIY yeah. or how does that work? Yes, it is. Because what you can do is now you can really dial down, you know, the KV, like I said, is adjustable from 10, 10,000 to 100,000. And when you start doing the multi coats, you actually want to back down on your KV. Okay. So this allows you to do it. Whereas the fixed KV guns, like you said, you're just, you're, you're sitting there at 15 or 25,000 volts. That's it. You don't have that option. Mm -hmm. So what you do when you want to do multi coats is you end up, you know, backing away from the part trying to overcome that, where here you don't have to do that. You can just simply dial it down on the fly. So for a professional unit like this, this is what you get when you buy it. Are there any other additional accessories? And if so, how would they help you? Well, we tried to include everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we give you the hopper with it. We give you the gun. We give you the fogging nozzle. So really all you need to do is put, like I said, your, your 50 PSI air supply to it, and then the 120 volt, and then obviously, you know, whatever racking or a booth oven, that kind of stuff. But other than, what you get with the kit, 
we do have the additional two pound hoppers. Okay. And what we found a lot of customers and the guys that were testing this gun liked is they were storing that. So the guys using a lot of blacks or clears, you can keep them separated. The hoppers are very inexpensive. We also have um, the powder delivery hose. We sell that in 12 foot lengths. You can cut that to whatever you want. If you're using the gun just in a booth doing small stuff and a lot, run with a shorter hose, easier to clean. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy those. So now you can have a hose just for your clears, metallics, uh, or primers. This is, this is really nice because this is a true fluidizing hopper. So in the bottom of this, there's a plate and uh, we're putting air below that plate. It's a membrane and air comes up through that. And what that does is it takes the powder that's in here, maybe two, three pounds of it, and it'll actually fluidize or turn that into like a rolling boil of tomato soup. Mm -hmm. What that does is powder will tend to clump, just like flour, anything like that. It eliminates that. It gets it up, suspends it in a little bit of air. And then we have here, instead of a uh, traditional, what's called a powder pump on here, we developed this one here, which is a Venturi pump. So you have air coming through here and powder pulling up through a tube into that fluidized and straight out the gun. What that does is it minimizes a lot of spitting, surging common with other units. Um, before we go, do you have any tips on powder coating? Yeah, if you want to get started with it, pick up our dual voltage unit. Uh, you can start with an old kitchen size oven. You can do valve covers. You can have a lot of fun doing this stuff. And then as you get more familiar with it, then you can step up to a larger unit such as this one. All right, well, there you have it. Um, if you want more information on our Elite Hot Coat PCS 1000, powder coating system, and for a lot of videos and additional information, simply click the link to visit eastwood.com.